Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics which we'll cover in this lesson are Introduction Temperature and heat Measurement of temperature Ideal gas equation and absolute temperature Thermal expansion Specific heat capacity Calorimetry Change of state And heat transfer so, to introduce this chapter, that is thermal properties of matter, let us first know what are we going to study in this lesson. Thermal properties. What, what do you think or what is the first thing that comes to your mind when we say thermal? Thermal is something which is related to heat, right? So, in this chapter, basically, we will study about Various properties which substances exhibit by virtue of heat or by virtue of transfer of heat. So to start the lesson, so basically in this lesson we will study about all those properties. For example, specific heat capacity, latent heat of fusion, latent heat of vaporization. So these are the basic properties. These are basically the thermal properties which we will talk about in this chapter. But to reach there, we will start from the very basic thing that is what is heat, how do we measure heat, what is temperature, how is temperature related to heat and then we will proceed towards transfer of heat and the several properties like specific heat, thermal expansion, specific heat capacity, latent heat and etc etc so first of all we will start with heat what do we mean when we say heat what is heat let us think of the most basic example which happens with us in our day-to-day -day life have you observed think of the time when you leave for your work or when you leave for your school during the daytime say somewhere around 10 o'clock or somewhere around 11 o'clock in the morning there the weather is sunny, hot sun and you are going to your office or you can say your dad is leaving for your office. Whereas while he is coming back home, it is almost evening, say around 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening. So what do you think? When does he feel that it is very hot today? The day is hot when during the morning time, that is when there is sun. Why so? I mean, what makes him say that it is very hot today or what makes him feel that heat? It is basically when the temperature is more. When the temperature is more, we say that the heat is more and we feel more hot. Similarly, when the temperature is less, we say that the heat is less. Right? So, similarly, you can think of a cup of hot coffee compared with a bottle of cold drink. What do you think which is more, which is hotter? Right, the cup of coffee obviously. Now what determines that the cup of coffee has more heat when compared to the cold drink? It is basically temperature that defines which is hotter and which is less hotter. Right, so now this was just the introduction of what makes us feel the presence of heat around us? Right, so now we will see what is heat primarily and then we will see what is temperature and how are they related. So let us first look at the definition of heat. Heat is a form of energy transferred between two or more systems or a system and its surroundings by virtue of temperature difference. So what does this definition say? It says that heat is a form of energy which is transferred between two or more systems by virtue of temperature difference. Now before we understand this definition very clearly let us understand this term that is temperature. 
because you can see that this temperature difference is playing a very important role in this definition. So let us look at what is temperature first, then we will come back to the same definition. So what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness of a body. What do we mean by measure? It means temperature is a quantity which tells how hot or how cold a body is. Now before we understand what is heat, let us see what is temperature. Because once we know what is temperature, only then we will be able to understand the definition of heat. Temperature is a term which you come across in your daily life. Every day we talk of temperature, right? Temperature is nothing but a measure of hotness or coldness of a body. The term temperature basically tells us how hot or how cold an object is. For example, the very instant example that will give you a thought of what is temperature is, think of a cup of hot coffee versus a bottle of cold drink. So what do you think? Which is hotter? Obviously, the coffee is hot, whereas the cold drink is colder. What distinguishes or what determines that the cup of coffee is hot and the cold drink bottle is cold? So temperature is the measure or temperature is the parameter. So any object which has higher temperature is said to be more hot. Any object which has a lower temperature comparatively is said to be colder. Right? So in this case, we can say that the temperature of the cup of coffee is higher than the temperature of the bottle of cold drink. Now that we know what is temperature, let's go back to the definition of heat. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thank you once again.